What's up, Ainy Babies? What's up, Ainy Babies? Happy New Year, you guys. Yes, it's been a minute. It's been about two months since I've recorded any updates or given any kind of content, put any content out. I'm still here. <laughs> it's been a hectic couple of months. Um, I'm finally moved into my new spot. I'm actually comfortable, set up. Everything is where it's supposed to be. Wanted to do an update on where I am with my muncher. You know what? I'm going to learn how to say this. Because for the longest time, I've been saying Majorno. I think I'm adding an N. <laughs> Should be Majorno. <laughs> Nobody corrected me. So I'm here to give you an update on my Manjuro. And I need to make sure I'm spelling that right too. My Manjuro journey. So this has been my, I'm into my third month of the 10 milligram shot. I've got two more weeks in the month. So I'm in the, the third month. And in my journey in total, I'm about 11 months um, that I've been on Manjuro. I started back on March the 2nd of 2023. Um, today is the end of November. It's November, uh, November. It's January. Lord, help your child. It is January the 22nd. I am currently, well, let's say when we started, started out 247 pounds. I am currently at 199. So I'm fluctuating between 199, 196. You know how this thing goes. You go up and down depending on what's going on in your life, water weight, whatever. Um, so I have lost about 48 pounds. If I just go by the 199, I have lost a total of 48 pounds, almost 50 pounds down. You guys, I've been happy. I've been feeling good. Um, loving life. Um, my goal, as you know, is 160 to 165. That's when I think I'll be good and I won't have to worry about losing weight anymore. But again, the journey so far has been great. I haven't had any real hiccups, ups and downs, or any problems, no side effects. That still has been the case with me. I'm probably gonna go another three months on the 10 milligram shot. And if I need to, if I still haven't reached my goal in the next three months, then I'm gonna go up to the 12.5. Um, I haven't had a, a sensation where I felt like the 10 is not working anymore like I did with the 7. Uh, so I want to stick to what's working until I don't need it anymore. Um, however, I do recognize that with that I've lost all of this weight. I have excess skin, which I had before when I had my first weight loss surgery. So I have a lot of excess skin and I need to get toned up. So I'm going to look into some exercise regimens that I can use to start toning up my arms and my legs and my stomach um, and just to get into a little bit better shape. I've been doing a lot more walking and things of that nature, but now I need to actually focus on working out, which I hate to do. Let me be honest, I hate to work out. But I know I need to. It's the next step in getting to how, getting to how I want to feel, how I want to look, um, I feel comfortable in my clothes. I'm wearing a lot more clothes that I haven't been able to wear in years. Um, people are thinking I'm buying new clothes. No, no, no ma'am, no sir. It's the same stuff I had two, three, four, five years ago. But anyway, I'm going to work harder on trying to get back in shape. Um, not so much in shape, but it toned up. Um, but yeah, I'm back in a good rhythm. So now I'm going to start putting out some content. Um, Auntie K is going to be with me soon to start putting out content as well. So we're going to be putting out content on this channel and on the Auntie Vision channel. So check that out as well. Um, so that's pretty much it. I don't have a whole lot much to update outside of that. I know I look a hot mess. I did update the color on my hair. 
but because the weather's been so crazy, I haven't really done much to it other than this this little tire ponytail. Um, I've also been battling a little bit of uh, cold here and there. I see, I got a cold right before New Year's or right after New Year's. Came out of that, and then I still kind of felt a little icky. I've been feeling a little icky lately. I first attributed it to maybe having some low blood sugars because again you don't eat as much on um, when you're taking these shots so I have to force myself sometimes to actually eat especially when I'm home when I'm at work I, it's kind of regimented I bring my meals with me I eat what I'm supposed to eat it's very laid out very planned but when I'm at home and, it, and this just happened over the past weekend I went to church where I go do church online uh, watch my church service football started and I was watching football all afternoon and then I looked up and it was going on five o'clock and I said oh I need to eat and then when I got up to go fix me something to eat I started feeling like dizzy and lightheaded and I realized that I can't let myself do that anymore I need to especially when I'm home stay on a schedule just like I do when I'm here at work um but yeah, um, other than that, there's not, like I said, there's not much else going on. The house, the new uh, spot is amazing. I'm going to do, I'm going to start putting out the footage of me getting that place together because I had a lot of team items that I used in, the, in, in my uh, spot that are really cute, very, you know, made my place homey, made it feel girly, just like, because it's just me now, so just how I want it um, and I'll start to highlight some of those things that I got um, I also I uh, just want to show you know how I'm living and how I'm doing at home I've had I have uh, filmed a couple of recipes that I uh, things I've cooked so I want to get that done as well so I'll be getting that to you soon but that's it Andy baby so like I said I didn't have a lot um, this is all for me auntie loves you and I will talk to you again in another video we back on track.